This. Right, so I have. Um, this is a, a mighty challenge ahead of you, and I, reflecting upon the previous couple of encounters, there have been relatively low scoring games. Has there been any particular trend that you've identified with the games against Gibbs Uh Look, I think the first time we played them, it was a uh, Saturday night game in pretty ordinary conditions, so um, I think that probably kept the score down there with that instance, and um, I think we've probably identified that to try and uh, to try and beat North City, you'd pro probably need to try and limit their scoring opportunities and limit their impact around the footy. Um, so that's probably been a, a fair focus of ours to uh, to keep the scoring down as low as possible and, um, and limit the limit the impact of, of their midfield and limit their supply going forward. Having said that, a segue into how many players are you prepared to commit to shutting down their midfield as opposed to just going letting guys go head to head and, and backing your own players? Um, look, I think we'll probably uh, we'll probably just have a few identified matchups this weekend. I don't think we'll have any heavy tags uh, like we did last week um, with Sunbury, but uh, look, things, uh, our coaching, our off-field coaching group are, are extremely flexible and, and know our side extremely well, obviously, and know the North City players very well as well. So. I'm sure that uh, if they identify someone getting off the loose, off the chain early, then uh, then we'll have those those, uh, pl those players in the background too that can uh, have the ability to shut them down. And we've regularly made reference to their multi-pronged attack, which clearly just is going to test any side. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Look, they've uh, they have their strength. They've got great flat, great players all over the ground, and um, no matter who runs through their midfield group, uh, they've. They've got quality guys running through there, and obviously their their forwards. Uh, you you can't really concentrate on on one on one target on one of their forwards because uh, the others will get off the chain fairly easily. So um, we need to have pl have uh, plans in place for for a number of different scenarios, and um, yeah, ultimately it'll, it'll be come down to the midfield battle if we can uh, limit the supply going forward to their forwards so they don't uh, get the delivery that they they like to have. Then uh, we'll put ourselves in a fairly strong position to win the game. And obviously taking a similar sort of approach as you may have in previous games into this game might produce the same result. So clearly things need to be a little bit different. How do you need to address that situation? What do you do with your players in the lead up to a big game, knowing that they are, you know they'll line up really well by now, yeah. don't you? Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, look, we've been working on a few things uh, last night at training and continue to work on tomorrow night to, to try and quell the, the influence of, uh, of the North City players and to, to try and uh, stifle their their strengths. Um, in saying that, though, we'll, we'll certainly be going out there playing our game of footy and our style of footy to uh, to try and make them match up on us and, and not let us worry about them the whole, the whole game. We talked about you being a little wayward at different times throughout the course of the year and clearly that situation, at, at least last weekend, was rectified with uh, some heavy goal scoring and, and clearly you know, very accurate, which was fantastic. Is there anything different about the approach that you took in that game against Sunbury? No, I don't think so. I think uh, I, I was very surprised at, uh, I suppose, how open the game was. I think I was sitting here last week and, and uh, saying that I didn't expect it to be a freewheeling game, an open game, but um, the way it panned out, there was uh, plenty of goals kicked and I think, um, yeah, they probably, uh, we, got, we were able to get some really good delivery into our forwards um, mm -hmm. to set them up in, in really strong position, positions in front of goals, which uh, obviously enables them to, uh, to kick more than they miss. So. And Ash talked, uh, certainly in the quarter time huddle at least, about two-way football and guys prepared to work really hard and that really was evident against Sunbury. Yeah, that's right. I think uh, we've uh, at times haven't worked as hard defensively as we have offen offensively um, and I think on the weekend we uh, were able to pr produce that same two-way effort um, after we addressed it a little bit there at quarter time. Um, we were really able to uh, work the, the 22 guys that took the field were, were working as hard defensively as, uh, as they were running the other way, trying to uh, get on the end of it and sort of score the goals. And how are you positioned with player availability for this week? Um, look, we've, uh, Sammy Caldo obviously has been um, rubbed out for the week, so that, uh, that's probably that's a very disappointing loss for us. He's, he's fairly important for our structure, but um, in saying that, he's, uh, he missed probably five, six weeks during the middle of the year and we're able to cover him at that stage. So we're confident that who we'll bring in will be able to uh, play that role that he's played. Um, Luke Brennan is probably, he's probably, um, he'd probably struggle to get up this week. I think it, if it was an elimination final, I think he'd probably put his hand up knowing the type of guy he is and the type of character he is. And um, 
but I think with the uh, with the double chance, I think we'll probably err on the side of caution with uh, with Luke and, and give him a week off. Um, and unfortunately, uh, Chris Thornton went down with a hammy um, during the warm up last week, so um, I think that's looking like a one to two week injury at this stage as well. So um, yeah, three three outs, but uh, obviously with uh, Chris going down in the warm up, we're able to bring another guy in, and he played. Josh Crawford played really well, um, so I'd, I'd expect uh, I'd expect him to keep his spot, and um, I'm sure the other two guys that we bring in will be able to play the roles that we need them to play on Saturday. Great, thank you. All right, so if you've pretty much written off, how much will that hurt? Because he was just dominant last week, wasn't he? His massive marks across the ground, and yeah, really setting you guys up moving forward. How much will his loss hurt? Um, Luke's been able to play in a, a wide variety of roles for us this year. Um, we've had him. Forward, we've had him in the midfield, and uh, he was extremely good across half back last week. Um, I think both times we've played uh, North City this year, he's been predominantly forward with a little bit of midfield. So um, we probably would, have, if he was available, probably expect him to play that similar type of role forward mid this week. So um, he was extremely valuable for us off half back, um, chopping off uh, some of the supply. And um, look, he's, he reads the play extremely well. And, um, his marking ability is probably one of his strengths, so we'll certainly miss him around the ground. But um, yeah, I'm, uh, it's you can't do much about it. So it's, injuries are injuries, and that's footy. Yep. So is it just his back, or is it ribs, or? Um, no, I think he, he copped a whack, um, sort of below, just below the ribs, I think. So there was certainly no uh, no significant damage. Um, I think he's still still a little bit ginger. Uh, he said he's still fairly sore uh, Monday and Tuesday. Um, I think uh, I was speaking to him this morning and uh, he's feeling a fair bit better, but um, yeah, I couldn't imagine we'd, we'd risk him this week in play. Yeah. How much of a, a relief is it, I suppose, to now have the double chance you've taken full advantage of the final system and now you've got two cracks at the grand final and must sort of take a bit of weight off the shoulders from last week? Um, oh, yes and no. Look, I think obviously with the, with the finals the way they are, with the final six, you, if you lose, uh, if you finish third and lose the first week, it doesn't really matter about that double chance. So. Um, we, were very, we were very pleased to put ourselves in that position to, to give ourselves a double chance and um, now that we've got it we'll, uh, we hopefully won't need to utilise it. Um, we'll, uh, yeah, we want to try and obviously uh, gain the week off, um, win this weekend and gain the week off. So fingers crossed if, if we play the way we know we can and um, things go our way, then, um, yeah, we'll be really looking forward to putting in a strong performance. Yep. Any big inclusions coming into the side for the guys you mentioned? Um, no, I don't think so. I think uh, one of our strengths this year has been our depth. Um, our, uh, our guys, um, we've probably had 30, 35 players play senior footy at various stages of the year and um, we're extremely confident with the, uh, I suppose, with our 28, 25 to 28 players that um, predominantly play senior footy this year that um, if we lose one, we, we know we're going to get someone. Um, we're not going to lose much by bringing someone else in. So. Um, that'll just be issues for um, the selection and, and matchups and the like. Yep. Too easy. Cool. Thank you. Um, Robbie, I suppose, obviously, firstly a release, a relief. Mark Greg's off the hook, so he'll, he'll be running around this week. Yeah, he will be. Um, head eye contact, give away a 50, and uh, that was it. Yeah. Um, so you thought there was nothing in it, obviously, as well? Nah, from the vision, I mean, game day, you know, I was fairly upset. Sent the runner out to him about giving away a 50 metre penalty. You know, 20, 30 metres out directly in front of goal. You know, our scoring was horrible at that stage, and you know, it was just a waste of a, waste of a forward entry. Yeah, and um, I suppose last week, for the majority of the game, you could almost argue you might not have played as well as Redan, but you just slammed on goals that quickly, didn't you? And that's sort of what could chuck over the line in the end. I think you said you got out of jail. Yeah, look, I, honestly, you know, you could speak to Gilly, you know, I think we got out of jail. You know, we, um, we had 105 more possessions, you know, smashing the clearances, um, 70 inside, forward 50s or 36 had control of the footy, but we just weren't in front of the scoreboard for the majority of the day. And we're fairly lucky, uh, you know, we hit the front uh, in the middle part of the last quarter and we, you know, we kicked a couple of goals really quick, you know, and that, that was the ball game, you know, it was halfway the last quarter, we hit the front and, you know, and hung on. I think they still kicked two in red time, you know, which they've done the last three times we played them, so it was a 14 point ball game. All reports was a good game to watch, but not great seeing the coaches box out nervous and sort of stuff, you know. And uh, but uh, it was, 
Got to be in front of the sign goes even worse, so we're very happy. Yeah, after the game you said you were pretty much injury free, is that still still the case? Yeah, it's a ball this time of year, everyone's got a little niggle here and there, but all the boys, you know, no one's going to say they're sore now. So, um, training last night, all ticked off, all above board, so, so far, touch wood, all good. Yeah, so you probably, does that mean you're not really missing anything? Oh, Sam Howard's trained, you know, trained very well the last couple of weeks. Uh, he'll definitely play this week in the reserves. He's a you know, very, very good player for us, so he's coming back from a hamstring. Um, Josh McDermott's, you know, asking the question again, who's did all the, all the training last night? So there's two could come in, but it comes down to matchups. I know, you know, obviously, you know, Ballarat's, you know, may miss one, and maybe Brennan with a kidney, you know, we'll see how that comes out, here he plays, but we'll have, you know, hopefully we'll have, um, do some research and um, pick the right team to can to, uh, to counter Ballarat. Yeah. How much of an advantage is it potentially to go into the grand final with a week off? Like, you, do, you guys obviously didn't take that part last year. How much of an advantage do you think it would be if you were to get up this weekend? Oh, look, it's, I presume the advantage is going to be the week off and another rest up. You know, the boys will train, obviously, as Ballarat would as well. They'll train on the Saturday and you go down as a group and watch the, uh, you know, the two other teams playing in the preliminary final. Um, I'm just sort of more worried about this week in the moment. We'll worry about what happens the week after if we're good enough and, and lucky enough to get the points. Yeah, you were down at um, the Ballarat game on the, on the Sunday. What did you... With Aaron Nunn, yep. The hub, yep. yep. <laughs> what did you make of your future or your opponents this week watching that game? Um, well, Ballarat were very good and, uh, you know, going on points for and against and, and former probably the team of the final series thus far. Um, you know, we heard uh, Adam mentioned about, you know, our midfield, well, their midfield was fantastic on the weekend. He, himself, you know, 30 touches, 81% kicking efficiency when he went in there, he was very damaging on the inside. You know, Milo, you know, 27, 11 clearances, he's just keeping form at the right time of year since he's been back, he was fantastic. Cassie, you know, pops up, gets 25 possession, kicks five goals, you know, he was very, very good. So they got some, we had to beat some players in there, first and foremost when they contested footy. And uh, you know they, I think Proctor had 21 for the day. You know, shots on goal, he was fantastic from the supply of these boys are getting them. So it's all well and good saying how good our midfield's going to supply our forwards get, but we're definitely going to beat theirs and uh, stop Proctor getting his hands on the footy forward. And Jimmy Quayle comes up and has shots on goal from every look damaging. You know, so they're things we're to watch as well of all going offensive. It all sounds great. Keep the Derek and go to Darmo, but we're to do our homework and make sure that uh, they don't get any supply or any free supply. Um, is it for me? The uh, inaccuracy in the final and the round 13 game against Ballarat, you're actually pretty inaccurate too. Yeah. Is there any reason why the kicking efficiency inside 50 uh, exists? Is it like the defensive pressure for being forced wide, long behinds? How would you explain that? Early in the year, Wes went through, it was just the terrible conditions. The game with Ballarat, Ballarat kicked horrible as well. They only kicked 10 points that day, I think. Um, and on the weekend, you know, we kicked one seven in the uh, one seven in the third quarter and had a very experienced player kicking them out of the mark out the side. It's just one of those things, and he, 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 was, he didn't make the great choice there, but you know, we had 15 more shots at goal. We had the, well, we got the footy, they haven't got the ball, you know what I mean? And they, we allowed them with kicking 22 points, um, more rebound kicking out of defence, a cup Hayden Riley and, and Chess and those blokes dominated with stats, bringing the ball back into play. So we got to nullify that, kick some goals for the forwards. But just for sure, finals pressure, some boys taking shots from further out, more angles than they normally do, and just some boys just Kicking horrible. So last night training again as well was last Thursday night, just some kicking routine, part of the routine we've done the last five, six, seven weeks. So just we'll get it right. And the midfield battle, and you've both addressed yeah. that to a certain extent. Is there much likelihood of you applying close tags? Oh well it might be tagged, but just every every player that goes through our midfield will have to be accountable to their player and we've identified last night some of their key players and uh, you know you've got to respect every opponent for who they are, I think the ball's going to their opponent and just it's going to be a dogfight, and we're playing for keeps on the weekend. And um, just every player's got to be responsible for a player, a certain player, whatever particular time. And you know, we can't have Cassie kick at 25. He's a very good kick at the football, kicking up, you know, getting up, kicking five goals. You know, Will McGregor, wing halfback, flank, 22 possessions. You know, he's inside forward, 50 kicks on the weekend were fantastic. And we just can't allow that to happen on the weekend. Well, if yeah. we do, we're in a lot of strife. Yeah, uh, and they actually had great versatility going forward. Clearly reflected in the 23 goals that they booted. So that's uh, something that you're your defence is going to really need to be accountable on? Yeah, well, the coaching staff went through a vision last night, we went through it and we identified some areas and the group will go through it as a group on, on Thursday and their lines and stuff, but we had well, you know, a fair few of our squad were there on the weekend, most of the squad were there on the weekend watching the game and uh, a bit of eye open for the boys, which is great from a coaching perspective, you know, but um, and they were excellent, they were very, very well and they uh, destroyed Sunbury, I don't know, a lot of people tipped Sunbury to win, but they were, they were, they were flying and um, we'd have been our very, very best to, uh, to counter them and get level terms and hopefully pull away. Motivation factor, everyone wants to win but at the same time when you've got guys that have sort of reached the pinnacle once before and, and sort of regenerating that level of enthusiasm yeah. knowing full well that you've beaten them pretty comfortably both prior encounters 
and they're obviously going to be a little bit different this time, aren't they? Because they're not going to just settle for the same old, same old, because they know they're going to be beaten if they do, or, or they suspect that they might be beaten if they if they do. So what do yeah, you do sure. to ready your players? Yeah, we, we spoke this at the start of the final series, like, you know, we, we beat Redan two weeks earlier, you know, by 21 points, and it's finals footy, it's just a different platform altogether, you know, and we know Ballarat have, you know, their recruits this year, all the blokes who've had success with their football club back in 208, a lot of those players are back there, they've been there and done that. So it's a completely different team when you're playing in, in round 15 or 16, where it was, um, we'd be our very best. And the motivation factor is there. You're playing for, you know, for a grand final spot. The more experienced players, you know, like we've got five or six new blokes come through, the, through our team this year, be different than last year. They're very good at educating those boys and, and talking to those boys and watching their vision one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what it's all about. You know, the motivation, if they're, they're not motivated, we don't want them there, you know. But look, that, that's, they're more motivated, if you like. You know, last year we hoped and prayed and crossed our fingers, think we could win it. And now we know we can, so we know we've got to do what level we've got to get at. And you know, it's, I mean, and being able to adjust during the games when you know Ballarat get a run on, kick some goals, our adjustment and, and confidence and composure to know that you know we know our system is pretty good, and if we execute it right, we'll uh, we come away with the win. But um, you know, we've got to bring the game day though. Great, that's good. Thanks very much, fellas. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate that.